as we're here around my kitchen table, yeah. you're sitting here, it does make us think, do you remember when we tried to come up with a name? We wanted a holistic name, a mm. name that actually resonated, so with customers, Touch. so they came across, across the threshold or, or had a, a, you know, a box from us or mm. something, they actually felt something emotionally. Emotional. Yeah. Weren't we having the famous I think we were fresh mint tea, tea <laughs> out the garden and you just went, mint velvet? It, it was the only one that we all went at the same velvet. time. Yes! The yeah. biggest shock to me, though, is then subsequently finding out you didn't even like mint tea. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you remember when we had to try and come up with our sort of, um, you know, how are we going to sum up what mm -hmm. we were all about? I think we all actually had something a little bit different. Like, I knew I wanted something quite casual and relaxed. Mm -hmm. You were quite glamorous. You wanted quite something quite cool and modern. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we just kind of kept coming back to, is it relaxed and glamorous? It's a bit like mint velvet. It was like, yeah. we put mint and velvet together. Yeah. And it was a bit... Like, well, it's relaxed and glad. Oh, yes, relaxed and glad. Do you remember those first few weeks? Mm. I do. Oh. I remember thinking, oh no, it's 75 miles away. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm going to embrace this. <laughs> All I remember is it being literally 24 7. Oh it was yeah. serious, wasn't it? You, we kind of slept it, ate it. Mm. I think we had one desk and like six chairs at head office. That's yeah. what I remember oh, yeah. walking in to see yeah. thinking. And no internet connection. Where am I going to sit? Catherine oh. used to have to go downstairs into the <laughs> office in reception to log on so she could send oh, emails. Yeah. So we'd like, save all our emails till the end of the day. I mean, it's just crazy. Isn't it? Oh, and now you look at the offices we've got now that are just absolutely beautiful. Oh, so and, uh, and with all the people. Yeah. We look like grown-ups now. Yeah, <laughs> and I love that we've got the photo room in there and the studio mm -hmm. and all we can do way. yoga and, mm -hmm. you know, it feels like, kind of feels like a little community now, yeah. doesn't it? Whereas when we first okay. started, it was, you know, it was just yeah, so small. so welcoming. People always ask, you know, what it's like working with your friends. Mm. Um, and what do you say? <laughs> I actually think it's it's sort of fine because I think if they're good enough friends and yeah. you respect and have known them, it doesn't really matter if you argue or fall out or yeah, you can disagree. be open and because you, you know each other and where it's, you're coming from. Yeah, you can take the criticism and you know at the moment Maybe. everything is just best intentions. Mm. And sometimes yeah. you have to walk away. Actually, because we knew each other first from work. We actually respected and liked each other mm -hmm. as work colleagues first. Yeah. And then actually what's quite nice is the friendship came after that. Yeah, yeah definitely. So I kind of think we all knew what each person could bring to the party. Yeah. And what, what's amazing is how that's now carried on to all the youngsters that have yeah. come in. And now mm. I, you know, like people like Harry, I see those people. As, mm. We've passed like my little babies. Yeah. It's, You've you got know, a lot of children in Velvet. I've got more than enough. <laughs> So looking back over the last 10 years, what, what have you been your biggest highlights? Um, on a smaller scale, I'd say having my first shoe design come back. <laughs> because obviously I didn't come into yeah. the business knowing how to design shoes. but Or knitwear. Or knitwear, actually. <laughs> yeah, because you've done predominantly soft, haven't you? Yeah. And dresses and blouses. So actually having yeah. a shoe that I loved mm. myself and... And which shoe, which shoe was it? It was the wedge with the sort of heavy oh, strap across the, the front, and I still love it. There's so many, aren't there, actually? Mm. I, I find this almost impossible. I think, answer. well, it's probably your best one as well, in the, when you first sold that first item in mm. Gr Grimsby. Mm. Yeah. And I remember you calling... Look ahead, actually. Oh, OK. <laughs> All blended. And I remember you ringing up, and you're like, oh, my God, I've sold it. And I was so relieved, because I, I was just sitting there thinking, what if we've just we'd done all this work and we'd been out to mm. China and what if no one wants to buy mm. it so when we think about the future moving with the time and modern yeah on the one hand I just think Mint Velvet is a brand that mm. with, with endless possibilities yeah. but I've so Evolving. enjoyed in some ways not really knowing a hundred percent what we, mm. we were doing That's so we'll get, like if you look at the retail landscape over the last mm. five years and even now we you know we thought we know that the internet's going to be this big, but actually, even that has its own quirks. Yeah, and you have to move. You know, are people, people going to happening? rebel against the internet and not want this fast choice mm. of. And actually, sustainability now. Like, I yeah, love my fabrics. Yeah. We're really trying to find those recycled fabrics mm. and trying to take more mm. plastic out. You know, that wasn't really so much in a. And I think we always had a little bit of that, but that sort of gained more. It's more important. Yeah. Now. And I'm, I'm really excited that we're going to be trying some new product types mm. and 
So on the one hand, I'm incredibly optimistic, mm. um, but at the same time, Chal- it's very challenging. I think, yeah, and, I think there's a lot of uncertainty in the world. So I think the way that we approach everything is, as you said, like let's be a little bit organic about Take it. Take each day as it Yeah, and yeah. not, not be too sort of egotistical about things. it. Yeah. You know, it's almost like, does this feel right? And because mm. we are those customers, mm. it has to be genuine. Yeah. It has to feel like, do we want this because we want this? Yes. You know, I, I'd hate to be the brand that, you know, you're selling this just because it makes money. That, yes. for me, feels kind of disingenuous. Yeah, staying true to the brand. Yeah, and, and, I, and I'd like to hope that we would still be there yeah. in 10 years. Yeah.